today's video is about Tesla Summon, which is a software feature which you can download from Tesla, which enables your vehicle to be controlled remotely so you can move it forward and backward up to 12 meters and even come to you. We're going to have a look at how the feature works and is it actually useful, really? Let's find out. So if we imagine for a moment a scenario where we've parked too close to another car, you can use the summon feature to remotely reverse the vehicle and give you a bit more space. Let's try. Vehicle is set and we can see here on the mobile, we have the reverse button and preparing. There it goes. Just get out enough space so that we can clear. Stop. And now testing the opposite, making the car go forward into the parking spot. Preparing, indicators flash. And stop. Okay, so that's handy. I can see that being useful. The next one, however, is Smart Summon. Now this time we're gonna use it where it's a bit more advanced. Two features, either come to me or go to target. Let's try it out. So at the top, we've got the person button and therefore it has come to me. Here is the car all the way down there. <laughs> Gotta love Australian magpies. Preparing, summon. Oh, there it goes. Okay, reversing, reversing. All right, turning and coming towards me. Will it avoid the curb there? <laughs> okay, it's going good. Here we are. <laughs> okay, I have to admit that was pretty cool. <laughs> now I'm going to change it to go to target. Well, in the target mode, we can put the target on a spot in the car park that we would like to go and it will calculate a route and we can now do go to target. <laughs> oh, it doesn't know which way it wants to go. Come on, pick a direction. There we go. <laughs> okay, looks like it's getting past the curb. Oh, it's doing a lot of left and right. Maybe now that it's widened out past the curb, let's see if it'll actually do a full reversey. Still holding summon. Still got a bit to go before it gets to the target. Okay. All right, so now that it's gone all the way backwards, shifting into forwards and turning left, Make sure it avoids the other cars. And I'll just do stop there. <laughs> okay, that was pretty amazing. Let's see if we can send it past me all the way to the end of the car park here, and then I'll jump on board. Going to target. Go. There it is. I'll cross the road in front of it. <laughs> Arrived and stopped. Smart Summon performed very well in an empty car park, but I was keen to test how the vision sensors manage walls and discover its obstacle avoidance abilities. Moving away a little forward, further, see if it can navigate this turn. Come to me. Vehicle is coming, maintaining light of sight. Let's see if we can do a little tricksy on it and just cross the road here. Are you gonna turn? Oh, 
Okay. And... Release. That actually worked much better than I expected around turns or obstacles. Wow. Okay, this time I'm going to make it navigate a trip that does go through a wall and to a parking spot on the other side. Let's see how this goes. There's the map planning and there's the actual car around that wall is where it's going to park. Let's do it. Go to target. Be ready to take my finger off at any moment. Okay, coming forward, going around the bend. So far, so good. All right, get ready to stop. Oh, it's a bit nerve wracking. Whoa. Watch that corner there. Okay. Yep, so far so good. Keep going. Aha! Keep going. And then turn into the right here. Oh, it looks good. And stop. Well, I'm impressed. It did it. All right, I have to be fair. So far, Smart Summon has exceeded my expectations in a practice run. So now it's time to put it to the test in a real scenario with real cars and find out if it's actually practical or if it's going to fault when it actually matters. Got to admit, I'm actually very nervous about using this in a high traffic area. Ooh, oh, fingers crossed. And come to me. Oh God, <laughs> ready to abandon. Okay, so far, comes. <laughs> and we'll attempt the corner. Mm, no, it's going the wrong way. Okay, I'm gonna stop there, that'll do. So as you can see, unfortunately it failed that real world test. Uh, it really needed to turn left in the car park, but it started turning right. I understand it, there's two trolley bays and a rail guard on either side there. So it took a safe option where there was no traffic and it is using obstacle avoidance in that sense. But therefore, to me, that means it's not really practical. I'm not gonna be using it when I come out of the shops and bringing the car to me because I just don't think it's there yet. So there you have it, that's Tesla Summon and Smart Summon. My opinion on this matter, I think Summon is a great feature to go forwards and backwards, get out of tight parking spots or puddles or any other obstacles there. It would just be in those rare instances where there's something in the way or cars have parked too close to you, which would be less than 10% of my drives. Smart Summon, cool feature, very cool that it can navigate and avoid obstacles. However, I think it's just not quite there yet. To me, I would be using it as a very, very, very cool party trick to show friends and family about the ability of software and what it can do with a vehicle. Having said that, the software is always being updated and I know it's come a long way already. Perhaps in future software updates, it gets even better. I look forward to seeing that. So I hope this gave you a bit of insight into what Tesla Summon is how it's used and what kind of usage scenarios it's good for. If you did enjoy this video, either find it entertaining or educational, please do me a big favor and hit that like button over there. If you'd like to see more of my content and keep the channel going, make sure you'd subscribe on the other side here and I'll keep making these videos for you. But that's it from me. Thanks everyone for watching. Bye.